I wish you the best luck dumping dozens of exalts on your walking item, hope you don't need as much as on the amulet. XOXOXO less than 3. Yeah. Well, welcome guys. Today we're crafting slippers. Crocodile slippers. They're gonna cost us our sanity. Our dignity. And hopefully around 80x. We'll see. We have 130x-ish budget. That should definitely fit. Especially since we already have uh, some stuff. I have some armor recomb recombobulators. What's the end goal? Why would I spoil that? Step one. We need to make in stacking boot spaces with the new sentinel mod which you can only get by recombobulating two boots and just randomly hitting the mod so let's do that we need to craft fire resist on all of these and then just recombobulate them one transmute each why because of magic. So we do this 144 times right now. I don't know if I have the transmuse for this. Probably gonna have to buy some more. Oh, Guild Sash has 2000. Nice. Transmutes are 1 in 56. So stop. Buy 400 for 5c. Huge. Wait, no. 8c. 10c. Whatever. Did I miss any? I did not miss any. Awesome. Okay. Now we need like a bunch of uh, armor recombobulators. Probably more than this. So let me buy some. That's weapon recombobulator. I don't need that. Whatever. We're buying that now. Anyway, Aww. monthly tribute. Anyway. Well, we have 144 bases ready. The boots are almost done, guys. Now, bright. all we need to, in in optimum <laughs> all we need to do is uh, train with some get the in-stacking nice mod day. and then and then just isolate <laughs> that and then get the other boots bo base and craft that and then recombobulate them together and then make sure we hit the correct mods and then isolate those mods and then finish the other side of the thing. And then, this is, and then hit the aceling and then get lucky and then the boots are done. So we're, we're nearly there guys. So step one, slam these in until we hit the in stacking mod. Let's go. Opal Ascent. It's mana. It's shit. We go again. Next. Nothing happened. It's the same thing. Go again. Okay. So this can go back, right? This can go back. These need to be scoured. That's nothing happened. Also nothing happened. What's the reason for fire as? Magic. Wow, wait, nothing happened to any of these, so we can just keep jamming them in. Energy shield, scour. Sanguine, T7 life, scour. Oh, guys, would you look at that? Nothing happened. However, on this one, absolutely nothing happened, but then, <gasps> there it is number one we need like six of these <laughs> okay we really need like four but six would be nice to to uh to be sure sorry sir but i didn't play the league can you explain probably for the 379th time what are these recombobulator things do so these are recombob recombinators i call them recombobulators that you can slam together two items and transfer some or all of the mods into a new item or also roll a new pool of mods which only exists in these 
in this recomb recombination process. And now Chet knows why f Sork boots were on the filter. Yep. Of crafts. Of crafts. Sentinels sorcerer boots of crafts. Ooh. Look at that. That's number two. Sorcerer boots of craft. Sorcerer boots of craft. Sorcerer boots of craft. Sorcerer boots of craft. What are we doing? We're crafting sorcerer boots of craft. I only want the sorcerer boots of craft. What about sorcerer boots of craft? Sorcerer boots of craft. And the last but not least, Sorcerer's Boots of Craft. Sorcerer Boots of Craft. Oh! Five. Okay, we can probably stop here. Well, we have five Sorcerer Boots of Craft. So how much is one on trade? Sorcerer's... They are 6x. Jesus. Well, this is 30x. We use like 8x to make 30x of them. I'll, I'll make one more though. We made it. We made it to step one of the crafting process. We have six sentinel boots. And now we're ready to move on to step two. We need, well, first off, we need to remove the craft from these. Hey guys. And now, we go to the trade site and buy crocodile boots. We need nine crocodile boots. They are called uh, Storm Rider boots. They need to be eye level 73 or higher. They cannot be corrupted. And uh, they will cost us 10c a pop. Oh, we already got one, guys. That was really fast, actually. I'll just pay 15c for them, because I don't know which one of this is 20 or 15 or 13 or 12. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We have acquired nine Crocodile Tears Storm Rider Boots. These boots have a mod which says 1 to 5 added lightning attack damage per 200 accuracy. Which... Is pretty cool because we have a mastery this one no this one intelligence is added to accuracy rating with ones so we have quite a lot of accuracy because we have quite a lot of int so this is another in stacking mod that we can use and maybe we can combine that with that and then have both of those in the boots that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It's only every 200 though, and we also have less accuracy rating, but it's still something. We have to redeemer slam all of these, so we're gonna need some special exalted orbs. It's 69, see? Shit. Okay, we got the Sork Boots, and now we need to slam them, but these are uh, already crafted or something, so we'll... Uh, I have run out of scouring orbs, guys. Okay. Let's buy some scouring orbs now. We transmute. And regal. And then... We redeem our slam. Onslaught. Avoid projectiles. Gain. Onslaught. Non-damaging elements. Cold. Avoid projectiles. Unaffected by chill. Avoid projectiles. Cool. Now, we essence all of these to essence int. We have to, we have to make these int. Essence int being the only suffix 
So we bring out our trusty annulment orbs. Let's do one by one. So this one has life regen and stun and block recovery, which is uh, not great. Let's try to get rid of them. Good, we got rid of something. And we got rid of the int. We go again. This one has dex and cold res. And we got rid of the int. We go again. This one has just the fire res. Try to get rid of that. No. There we go. That's our first usable pair of boots. Can't just have them with crafted int only. Magic quality. Yeah, you can if you want like sheet boots with crafted int on them instead of essence int. You could do that. I don't want sheet boots, so I don't do that. Uh, we need to get rid of the lightning res here. We did. GG noobs. Next one. Life regen, lightning res. Life... Life regen is gone. Lightning res is gone. Nice. Magic is coming, literally. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we have... Six clean sentinel sork boots and nine clean suffix essence int crocodile boots. Unfortunately, all of these are rare, so we have to do some magic, some expensive magic. Since these are rare and we need magic ones, we do. Suffixes cannot be changed, and scour, which should, in theory, turn them into Storm Rider Boots of the Essence. Number one. And now we do this eight more times. Can we, can we have some empty chatting spam in the chat for the people, like, do them one by one? Why do you need to make them blue? You don't need to make them blue. Like the people who are typing and have no idea what we're actually trying to do or just just embrace it, guys. You are free to suggest things. I will not take any of your suggestions. I fully trust the people who came up with this crafting methodology. And there's pretty much nothing you can type in chat that changes my mind. Suffixes cannot be changed. Scour. Okay, nice. Now we have the lightning mod and the essence int and nothing else. Super clean. <sighs> it's time for the fun part though, the recombobulator part. We grab our armor recombobulators and we smash these together. The ideal scenario is that the result is a Storm Rider boots with both of these mods on it. If we hit Latent Instacker Croc boots, that's 22% chance. If we hit that, we're happy. If we hit no int Instacker Croc boots, that's 11 chance, either sell or we can recombobulate it with an int Croc boots for 44% success chance. 22.5% chance if we hit int croc boots, we can reuse it in step one. 33% chance to hit redeemer croc boots. We repeat the base making steps and we make them into a new croc boots. Tetram and Bazooka Tank wrote up this sheet. Uh, Tetram has been doing a lot of recombobinator crafting. Yeah, this is part craft of exile, part testing, part uh, irons. Explanations of chances for recombobulator. There's a big there's a big reddit post like the it's called guide to to recombinators Path of exile reddit. Let's see if I can the complete guide to recombobulators this one Good luck. It's a book. Well attempt number one Actually, we'll put the sword boots on the left and the croc boots on the right and then... Sorcerer Boots of Essence. That is not great. We moved... 
the int essence mod to the sword boots. We'll put that aside. This trick didn't work. What's the next trick? You know what? Let's flip him around. Let's put it like this. Entropy thread. Oh. Would you look at that? We made the thing. That's that's what we want. However, it has a fire res. Which is uh not great. So unlucky. We can gumbo with this later. We want blue. Minus 14x. Okay, next. Alright, I'm clicking. Next one. Sentinel Sork Boots. Okay, so we just made the same Sork Boots. We basically deleted the Redeemer Exalt. Suffix cannot be changed. Essence Croc Boots. Goodbye. It's gone. We have another base of the same thing. Go again. Sentinel's Storm Rider Boots. That's almost good, but it's missing the int mod. That's a good one. That's a 25x pair of boots, apparently. Let's see. It's 30x now, actually. Sentinel Sorcerer's Boots of Essence. So we made one with the two good mods, but it's on the wrong base. <clears throat> we have one more pair, and then we made one more pair earlier, so... Let's try. That's a yellow again. Sorcerer's Boots, it has both mods, and it rolled tier 1 ES recharge rate. The last pair that we have. Sentinel's Storm Rider Boots, doesn't have the in-stacking mod. Unlucky. Okay, so we didn't make a single one that we needed, so we go again. Can we combine any of these? Let's see. We can combine the Sentinel's Storm Rider with the Sentinel Essence mod. Now we're guaranteed to hit the base. We just have to get these two mods together. So this trick could work, but this one is 25x, so if it doesn't work, that's a sag. But it worked. No, it didn't. We lost the sentinel mod, actually. So now, minus 25x, but we have another one, so it could work the next time, guys. This time, for sure. Sentinel Storm Rider Boots. All right, we deleted the Essence mod. So now we need another Storm Rider Boots with the Essence mod. Thankfully, we have that. And if we just slam those two together enough times, eventually we'll end up with Sentinel's Storm Rider Boots of the Essence, which is exactly what we want. Now we're in business. Okay, we have arrived at our destination. <laughs> Pain arrive. Now we go into the menagerie and we imprint Regal <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> now we have to make these rare. We have to have the same boots but rare. Okay? It's not a... It is imprint regal, but we're not trying to hit a good regal. We're trying to hit any regal, and then we're trying to annul whatever we regaled. So we go into the manager. Bring some regals, bring some annuls, and uh, let's have some fun. And then it's pain arrive time. Then it's true pain arrive time. <laughs> Ah. Imprint of a magic item. Craft. Okay. Now we have 
an imprint, which is a beast craft. This thing can set this boots back to this stage anytime, unless I corrupt them or mirror them or whatever. So what we're trying to do is hit a regal, doesn't matter what it is, we hit life, and now we try to remove that life with the annul. We didn't. We removed the essence int. So, reset, and go again. One in three. No, we got rid of the essence int again. Reset, go again. Fuck, we got rid of the essence int three times. And all, essence int. You know what? It's going to the depths. Five times! There we go. Fire as. And. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we get Dire Urge. The same boost we had before, but this time it's rare. Now, we craft, can have up to three crafted modifiers. Multimod. Suffixes cannot be changed. Prefixes cannot be changed. <laughs> what in damnation have you done? <laughs> Let me see those question marks. <laughs> Why did we do this? Because now, if we reforge crit, we have a 100% chance to hit elusive. If we managed to regal elusive, we could have skipped this step. But we didn't, obviously, because it's super fucking rare. So now, we're just gonna force it, okay? We're gonna reforge critical. Can I ask for pricing on an item? No. We don't really do price checks here because it's multiple reasons. Mostly it's boring and if I do one I need to do them all and eventually I just sit here and look at people's items all day. And I have my own items to look at so... Okay, no... Oh, crit! Crit on this plot. First crit plot. Let's go. We can do like a price check day or a price check hour at some point. Like if you guys really... If you think that's like good content or you're interested. Reforge crit. That's the thing we're looking for. Critical modifiers are more common. <laughs> okay. We put in the boots. <sighs> and... We click the button. We got elusive. And it's T1. I don't even think Elusive has two tiers, does it? I think it's one tier. Whew. We made some progress. Essence Int, Sentinel Int, Elusive. Next step, Multi-Mod, Suffixes cannot be changed, cannot roll attack mods. Another 6x step, I guess. Oh wait, is that is it only 5 actually? Is cannot roll attack 1? Remove crafted mods. Can have up to three. Suffixes cannot be changed. Cannot roll attack mods. 1x. Alright. And now we have a 1 in 3 Aisling. So we have to do it three times at least. Hopefully we hit, hit it on the first one. Maybe not. We need to Aisling slam. And try to remove suffixes cannot be changed. We go to TFT now. For Aislings. Find someone with... Oh, this guy is on fire. So trusted. He is awakened and trusted. Hello. I'd like to buy your Aisling. Give me five minutes to run the boss. Awesome. So this is 3x. How much RX are you into with the boots so far? Um... Well, we bought a bunch of extra beasts that we don't need currently. I would say about like 30, 35 maybe. The TLDR of this step is perfectly described by Bazooka Tank. One in three, we are really happy because we hit the suffixes cannot be changed and we can move on. 
One in three, we're really sad because we hope we have to go back to imprinting. And one in three, it's 2x whatever, go again. So, just hit it, forehead. Hi chat, I just tuned in. Oh nice, he's here. Alright, coming in. Alright, very loud shouting. We have a... We have a quest for you, okay? If you hit, the suffixes cannot be changed. We are really happy. Okay? If you hit it, I'm tipping double. I'm, gi I'm giving you another 3x. Please don't hit the int. That would be very sad. <sighs> no spoilers. Oops. That's not good. Okay. He didn't hit the int. This is fine. He hit the elusive. We just go again. That just means we go again. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I will vouch you one second. We have to remake the elusive. Ow. We can try annulling. Okay. We can't hurt the suffix. Wait, what if we remove the lightning mod though? If you remove the lightning mod, we have to imprint again. You can't, but that's a prefix. Oh, that's an attack mod. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay, okay, good. Our last and all, we can save it and go again if we hit the 50 50. Okay. Please. Remove the veil. Okay. That's good. We hit the 50-50. Now... We go again and reforge. Yeah. Uh, remove crafted mods. Can have up to three crafted modifiers. Suffixes cannot be changed. <laughs> Pre prefixes cannot be changed. And harvest. Next map. Defense critical. Look, we found a crit plot. Let's go. Okay. Post champ. This step literally cannot fail. So we just click the thing, and we have elusive. 6% chance to gain elusive. Tier 1. Alright, we're back. Og elusive, the step. Now, we're back to remove crafted mods, suffixes, multi-mod, suffixes cannot be changed, cannot roll attack mods, aisling. So we're back to minus 5x step. Remove crafted mods, one scour. Can have up to three crafted mods. Suffixes cannot be changed. Cannot roll attack mods. Attack. About Minus 5x. And we search for Aisling from some Omega Trust trusted guy. For example, this person. Hello, I'd like to buy. Oh. The Time Wizard still has Aisling, 2.5x, come in, we're coming in to the Time Wizard, to the Time Wizard's Mastermind Lair, nice. Moment, I need to play the Time Wizard song, if that's okay. Please remove... The suffixes cannot be changed, and we double up the monies. Please, please, bro. Try number two. Aisling number two. <sighs> no spoilers. No spoilers. I don't want to look at it.
Nope. He removed the in stacking mod. Ah. Okay, the song didn't work. Such. Pain arrive. Yeah. Well, we hit our Sentinel mod, which uh, which really sucks because now all of our 30x crafts that we already put into this is has gone to waste. We are back to the menagerie. Back to the blue boots. We go again. Imprint. And all. We did it. Okay. Tenth times the charm. We're back at the next expensive step. Reforge crit. Which thankfully we have stored in our Horty crafting bench. For a guaranteed elusive. Got it. And now... We go again. Remove crafted modifiers. Please hit the suffixes cannot be changed. Confirm. And please don't say oops. <laughs> <sighs> he hit it. Yes. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, we're tipping this guy 2x. Are you selling other stuff? I I wanna tip. He just saved us another fucking 15 exalt step. Which we have gone through twice now. So thank fucking god. Alright. Now we unveil. Oh no. What what is our chance to unveil? 85%? Oh. Okay, we unveil now. We talk to June and hope for the best. We want movement speed. Our chances are pretty high, apparently 85%, but we've failed higher odds before. So, Prega. Prega for movement speed. I'm clicking. We got it. Movement speed and cannot be chilled. Okay. Okay. That is pretty nice. Okay. We made it to the, uh, to the finish line. We just Og influence and we keep whatever we get and we finish with a craft. And the boots are done. We, it could have been a better movement speed. It could have been... Uh, Movement speed if you haven't gotten hit recently, but cannot be chilled is really nice Because we can get chill immune without having chill like anywhere else We can get avoid projectiles. Let me see if I can remember. We can get avoid projectiles Onslaught or ailment effect. Yeah Those are the three options Okay, it's a 30 30 33 33 33 exactly All right we buy Og Influence from TFT for 20x. Hello, Og Influence, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. He is, uh... He is exalted. That means he has... He's trusted, awakened, exalted. And his Discord is linked to PoE. He has done hundreds of crafts for people. If he only said, unlucky. Go again. Mirror collateral. I think we'll be fine, guys. I don't think this guy will yoink. All right. Please. Effect of ailments or onslaught. Good luck. Prega. Success, he says. What did we get? We got a chance to avoid projectiles. That is not success, but I mean, it's fine. <laughs> oh, that was someone else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the worst outcome, but 
that's tanking us, I guess. We have another 10% from this, right? From the Lunaris. So now we have 22% chance to just completely avoid projectiles. The boots are almost done. Just finish with 25% chance to avoid ailments. And GG. Vengeance Stride. We still need to uh, quality it up and divine it and stuff, but pretty good. 10% elusive, 30 MS, 58 int. Oh god, there's a lot of lot of uh, divining that needs to happen actually. Let's try divining the prefixes, which is literally just movement speed and elusive, and then lucky suffix divine to finish it off. 1030, okay, prefixes are done, and now... Suffix Lucky Divine, 5812, done in a single Lucky Divine. That was lucky indeed. And now, Blast the Implicit, let's not vol it. 1 to 6, very good. And now, Craft Ailment Avoidance, or 25. There it is. Okay, we need to enchant this for movement speed. Or, sorry, attack speed. And then they're done. And then we have a reason to enchant our mage blood with accuracy. Yeah. Gift of the Goddess. I have a few of my own, I think. I don't know if I can run Gift of the Goddess. But we're gonna try. Let's go. Okay, first lab. We got cold damage enchant. That's not what we want, but we'll put it on anyway. Life regen. Replace, sure. Fire damage. Replace, sure. We got it. Attack speed. GG. And we got movement speed too, but no, we want attack speed. GG. Our boots are finally finished. Oh my god. Let's put them on. From 31 int to 58 int. And chill immunity. And some accuracy stacking. And avoid projectiles. We lose some action speed. And some ailment avoidance on the top, but we can fix that with jewel implicits, which I have plenty. So that's nice. And our final current int is 1719. Our accuracy is 4246. Dang, yo.